Hi everyone, this is Dr. Zeus. Um, I'm coming to you uh, to bring you a little bit of an introduction. Many of you have been asking about, um, about the group presentation projects are a little bit, uh, I guess you would say a little bit confused about them. I, I am going to be through the next few weeks basically leading you through these group projects in a step-by-step -step fashion. So there's not really a lot that you have to do independently. I did send uh, some instructions in an email a couple of weeks ago, I think it was week seven when I was getting the group assignments together, for you to get onto the group discussion boards I gave you. If you haven't gotten that, that thing, please go back to it. Um, gave you instructions to go ahead and get on the group discussion boards, showed you how to get on those, and it offers some initial um, experience that you have with the emotions um, and so forth. Uh, I'm going to basically, because I've gotten people to, to uh, respond on this uh, in terms of confusion, I'm going to go ahead and lead you through some of the original steps for this and give you an idea of what I'm looking for. Okay, so here I am. Uh, I'm at the message board here. And I just want to let you guys know how to get into the group discussion boards. If you notice on your sideboard here, okay, I have some things you don't because I'm the instructor, but you should have each one of these. I have a group presentation description here on the sideboard, a shortcut there, and then shortcut to question week assignments that you don't need, and shortcut to discussion boards, okay? The group discussion boards are found in that, okay? And then finally, here on the side area, um, there is a, um, an introduction to yourself, that was the first week, and a shortcut to group presentation posting sites. So those are the three you need to know. There's a group presentation description that will show you what you're being asked to do. There's the shortcut to discussion boards that'll begin to show you where your, your, your group discussion boards are. And then finally, a place for you to post your presentation. Usually people do um, a PowerPoint presentation, add audio clips into their PowerPoint, or maybe little video clips. Um, you can do a video. I'm using something called Screencast-O-Matic right now to, to do this one. It allows you to do snapshot your screen. So literally, you could do a creative project with a collage. You could snap a, a digital photo of that. You could put it up on your, um, your desktop uh, into, on, on your screen, you know, your monitor, and you can put this thing over it. And you could even describe that using your voice as I am now, and that'd be great. I do recommend a lot of people uh, download Screencast-O-Matic, what I'm using right now, because it can allow you to be multimedia. And it doesn't take up a lot of room. Sometimes things take one or two gigabytes. This one's probably 200 megabytes or so. Well, not for a 15 minute, maybe even less than that. So let's go back. So that's one thing, deciding on the kind of presentation you want. Do you want a PowerPoint presentation? Do you want a video presentation? These are some of the things that you might toss around in the discussion board. Especially if some of you are good at it, that could be your contribution. I want you to contribute a little in content too, but if you're more of the tech person, I'll take that into consideration as well. It is a group project. And people, I want you to go toward your talents and strengths, okay? So if we do go to the shortcut to discussion boards right here, okay? Um, and I'll click on it now, okay? What you'll find, okay, is each one of the groups is already listed here, okay? We have enrolled members in each one of the groups already assigned. I'm just going to randomly go on the discussion contempt and arrogance one. Okay. I click on that. Okay. It's got your group members here. Okay. And, and if we keep going down to where it says group discussion board, you just click on that. And lo and behold, it says initial contact information and ideas about in, how each individual can Oh, I, I meant to put about how each individual can contribute, but you get the idea. So here's what you basically are doing originally, right, right now, before we start getting going. Contact information, and in, contact information and initial ideas about how to divide the work and creatively contribute. What are your strengths and interests? So just basically, why am I doing this? Why am I engaged in this? Now, some of you I had to kind of assign this to, so you're going to have to you know, think about it, reflect about it. Why am I doing this? What do I hope to learn from this? You know, what are my strengths and interests with regard to this? What are my experiences, right? And some of my initial ideas about how I would like to address this or how I, I would like the group to address this particular concept. Again, re notice I've been leading you through each one of these. You know, we had one on fear. We're having another one on disgust and contempt, another one on shame and guilt. 
So it's not like you don't have, you can really draw upon your own work so far. We still have a couple more to do, uh, <clears throat> get a couple of the other areas to go after. But again, please, each one of you, get on here and click on this one, all right? You're gonna click on it, and then it, it allows you to contribute a thread, okay? Ah, here's one. Okay, so I was about to click on this uh, initial contact information, but that would have, what I found out after I clicked on it is it revealed people's contact information, so I had to edit the video there. But if you click, click on that, and this one, you notice there are unread posts, there are a total posts of seven. People did, in fact, share their contact information there under this one. So uh, some of you are already beginning to work on this. That's, that's a good first start. Um, and again, those ideas that I was telling you about. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, and I will briefly discuss the actual group presentation itself. Clicking again over here on the sidebar, group presentation. A lot of you are like, wow, this is a lot of words and so forth. It's actually fairly simple. And again, we're gonna go through step by step and I'm allowing you time. For the question of the week and the discussion board questions over the next few weeks are going to relate to your group project. So you're actually gonna be developing, using those to develop material for your project. There will be additional research though. You're gonna to have to assign those to each other. Go to the areas that you really enjoy doing. I've had people say, I'm really a creative person. I wanna, I wanna devote a poem that I wrote about my own shame and guilt or my own contempt or something like that. And that was their contribution. They literally typed it up, put it into the PowerPoint presentation for the group and that was their major content contribution. Again, I'm not looking for you to try to prove something or do something that you don't find enjoyable or interesting. I just want it to be good work, to be straight from the heart and well composed in your mind and help you guys work together as a group over emotionally, oftentimes emotionally charged or difficult emotions, but to see that it's not such a difficult thing. Once you share these things, oftentimes it's a lot better than doing things individually. Now in my summer project, I have them do an individual project because we have very few people in our summer group. I think there was only nine or 10, but this, uh, we have 32 people, I think. So that's why I'm having you do a group presentation. So it's not an option here. You're all signed to groups. And again, if this class is successful, it'll help you understand past emotional, motivational ha patterns, habits, and questions. I think you're really beginning to see that in your discussion board and your question of the week contributions in this class. And I want you to explore present mo emotional, motivational challenges, curiosities, and issues, and finally develop future emotional motivation opportunities, abilities, and insight. You see how that works? Processing your past, working through healing, you're engaging your current challenges, right? So it makes it really the material very relevant and your curiosities and your issues. So it's, a, it's, it's great for college, it's great exploration. This is what learning is all about. And finally, especially as a professional and as a parent perhaps now or in the future, you're thinking about what are the ways I can transform the negative into positive emotions? Again, we wanna make this kind of full service for you all. So, so here are the six categories. We've already kind of gone over them ad nauseum, but sadness, depression, grief, to happiness, joy, and care. Second group was anxiety, overwhelm, paralysis, to serenity, clarity, and openness. The third is transforming anger, frustration, and aggression to compassion, acceptance, and kindness. The fourth, disgust, contempt, and arrogance, and a little bit of judgment there to appreciation, empathy, and gratitude. Fifth, fear, insecurity, and abandonment to courage, confidence, and connection. And finally, sixth, shame, guilt, and embarrassment to positive risk, creativity, and humor. So again, if you download the free version of Screencast-O-Matic, they will allow you to do up to 15 minutes doing what I'm doing right now in this presentation where you can do screenshots, you can put yourself in the corner, and you can even, you can even make yourself go front and center if you want to change it like this, you know, when I bring it back down to the corner again. And I can even get rid of my picture altogether if I'm feeling like it's getting in the way. So um, that's what's happening right now. But I'm going to go ahead and put myself back in the corner again. And... Um, and let's just go through this real quick, okay? It's real, I'm not asking you to do too much with this. And I've even put a, a, a simple, uh, you know, example of it underneath. I'll go through both of them. But basically here are the two things that I want you to do, okay? Uh, there are basically five things. And on two of the weeks, I'm gonna have you do two of them. And on the other week, I'll have you do three of these. So you're actually gonna be going through these yourself, okay? So as an individual interested in an area, 
Okay, there are six classes of emotions provided above. Choose an emotional class that you find personally compelling, you're struggling with or trying to find a better way to deal with or you're intensely curious about. Again, you don't always have to be about it, but you want to know more about it. You will then discuss and present them in a creative format of your choosing, multimedia, video, PowerPoint, drawing, collage, etc. I even say Screencast-O-Matic will allow you to record free up to 15 minutes. That's what I'm using. Again, <clears throat> basically, you, I've already got the setup. You don't have to worry about format. You can have five sections, introduction, describe, apply, connect, and conclude. Okay? You can set them up just like that. Okay? You can... You can have one or two people working on the different areas. You can split work up that way. You can have some people researching and some people drawing. You can split it up that way. I'm not requiring you to do any particular thing here, okay? The thing I will require you to do is if you do your research, don't just do it and throw it in there. Share it with the group. Get feedback so everyone's learning from each other, okay? Um, but, you know, the going to the library, whatever, or going online, that's a different story. So here's my thing, okay? Introduction. Why did you choose to do this area? Do an emotional inventory of your contrasting experiences around the area of concern, including examining how your sociocultural variables and underlying needs and concerns influence your various perspectives. Welcome different views. This is an initial discussion you will have with each other. Basically, sharing some of your experiences, actual concrete experiences around this area of concern, and you're gonna find out you have different ones and have different conclusions and different consequences, okay? Maybe have someone in your group begin to type those things up or at least do some kind of brainstorming, okay, in that area, okay? In this too, you will discuss how your family situation, how your education, parenting situation, you know, we're single parent or, or, or not single parent, um, <clears throat> ethnicity, Gender, all these things influence how you come at the situation and how you experience the situation. So that's what I mean by sociocultural variables, those kinds of things. And then so those things, that, those aspirations, those hopes, those things, those human needs, uh, you know, that you, you need inside the needs for belonging, self-esteem, etc. Those are the underlying needs and concerns. OK, so basically you're having your sharing experiences. You're understanding some of the social cultural variables that give rise or influence these perspectives and these experiences. And then some of the emotional and psychological and human aspects within yourself, right? Self-esteem, et cetera, that influence your looking at this, okay? So the second thing is describe the nature of this class of emotions, both the antisocial negative and the pro-social positive from our work in this class. Okay, you can summarize current research understandings from the current directions in psychological science or alternately in interview a qualified psychologist who specializes in this area. You can split up work by having each person research one emotion. That's one way you can do it. Okay, but basically I'm only asking you to have maybe one or two peer reviewed research uh, things where you're, where you're helping to bring in academic, helping to bring in research to explain in a content way what this class of emotions involves, okay? So either as a group and having different people research different emotions or have a, assign one or two people to do this and share it with the group, okay? Again, I want at least one peer-reviewed one having to do with the antisocial or negative emotions. You can do them together if you want to, okay? And then at least one peer-reviewed uh, um, or uh, research rooted uh, article on the pro-social or positive emotions, okay? So you at least have to have two peer-reviewed research articles referred to, all right? And apply your discussion and research to decided upon emotional conflict, professional challenge, or life issue. So it's all great to talk about emotions and, and personal experiences, which is what we've been doing now. But now we're actually engaged relationship issues, social issues, okay? Um, divorce, stresses of the military family, gender bias, parenting, something that matters to you as a group or the majority of the members. So now you're gonna say, okay, we, we kind of bookmarked our areas in an introduction. We've shared our experiences. We kind of see where these things come from, different perspectives. We're describing this using research to kind of bring in a, a more of a professional understanding to this, and now we're going to apply, right? What is an issue that we can kind of all work around and have some interest in 
where we apply this knowledge and apply our discussion to addressing it. Okay, that's the apply part. And finally, uh, uh, not finally, but fourth, connect the work to your lives, offering real life examples and contrasting views and show how this process of emotional inquiry impacted your understanding and choices. That sounds kind of abstract, but what I'm basically saying is, what have you learned from this, okay, applying it to an issue that you can now apply to your own life and situation and help improve it to transform the, transform the negative emotions to the positive emotions, okay? So that's, again, you see how this is each sort of working step by step. And finally, conclusion. And this is the one you really is your gift to the class. Develop strategies from this engagement okay, to share with the rest of the class. So uh, to move emotions in your area of concern from antisocial negative to pro-social and positive. Also, please make sure this is in there. Po describe possible effects this may have on emotion, self-esteem, stress levels, health, personal fulfillment, and relationships. Again, I'm not necessarily meaning you have to do every single one of those, but those I would like you to do. Those are the main areas they associated with this course, and they're very helpful for others. I know a lot of people have been dealing with self-esteem issues, motivation issues, stress issues, and health and personal fulfillment and relationships are generally some of the most important areas of people's lives. So, um, oops, I'm getting a call. I have to pause this. Oh, sorry about that. My wife going to pick me up. We're going to go to Flagstaff. So <laughs> I live in Sedona, by the way. Um, so anyway, uh, okay, so here we are. I'm just going to do a quick run through through this. We're at about 16 minutes. I want to keep this easy enough to do. Okay, so here we are. I'm using dealing with deadlines. This is a very simplistic one. You're going to deal with some things that are more interesting. Okay, I'm going to do an introduction where I discuss my own sociocultural variables and underlying needs and concerns. All right. <clears throat> and I basically say, here you could share your experiences about having to get something done by a particular time and what emotions that brings up for you. What post -emo past emotional patterns, family patterns, et cetera, have contributed to your sense of anxiety around deadlines? Remember, I picked an actual issue, right? It's an emotion is anxiety. The issue is dealing with deadlines, okay? And I want you to do both. I want you to pick the emotional class, talk about your experiences around that. Could have to do with anything and have to do with family pressures, expectations. This, you know, you're going to be brainstorming at first, all right? Then you're going to apply it to an issue. In this case, the issue that I am applying it to is dealing with deadlines. So it's nice and specific. You know, it allows you to really zone in here or hone in i should say so what past patterns you know sociocultural bad uh social social cultural variables emotional patterns family patterns have contributed to your sense of anxiety have you had really rough unforgiving teachers that did not want to give you any slack or make you feel less than right when you tried to turn something in even when there was an emergency clearly i'm not that kind of teacher and require turning work in late, you get the idea. You're plowing the earth here, turning up the buried soil, the context in which these negative emotion is situated, okay? So we go to the next one. Describe the nature of the class of emotion. This is pretty straight research meant to inform capable content understanding of this class of emotions. Now, when it came to this, and I will say this again, you can do a research peer reviewed research article for the negative there's not a lot of good stuff on the positive, okay? So I have allowed and will allow you to do something like a TEDx talk. Benet Brown, I think her name is B-E-N-E, -E, or is it Brene Brown, maybe B-R-E-N-E -E, Brown, does work on vulnerability, fear, etc. Great stuff on TED Talks, gets into She's a researcher herself, gets into peer-reviewed research. It's respectable work, but it's more popular culture and format. If you can pull out a work like that, especially around positive emotions, because there's not a lot of work done on positive emotions, that's only recent positive psychology and so forth, then that's fine. But remember, I want at least two research-rooted sources, one for the negative emotions, one for the positive emotions, to be um, included here, okay? So again, then apply your discussion and research to an emotional conflict, professional challenge, or life issue. Again, mine was dealing with deadlines, right? Right? So you have a nice specific one here. <clears throat> so procrastination might be a good issue you could deal with in that dealing with deadlines, okay? Why do I procrastinate? Oh, God, I go right up to the end all the time. 
And this is very common for others. So you're going to be helpful, helping others if you work through this, okay? So, so perhaps pro pro procrastination may be a good issue. It's certainly linked with coping with both deadlines and anxiety. It seems rich enough to explore. Why do different people procrastinate? What is procrastination meant to solve emotionally, right? It helps you get rid of the pain of dealing with that mm, and the expectation and the fear that you won't be good enough, but then you're gonna have to do it anyway. And it just makes things worse, okay? If you could deal with that pain and say, wait, I'm gonna at least do some brainstorming, you know, or something like that, okay? Well, I'm getting ahead of myself here, okay? So questions like this really begin to get the juices flowing, all right? This leads to a possible insight. Are there positive internal motivations and desires we could connect with that could help us deal with the situation in a healthier way that can lend itself to developing strategies in your conclusion, okay? So, now connect the work to your lives using real life examples. Here you might share in bullet point format your possible brainstorms and personal solutions that could go beyond coping and move discussion toward transforming negative antisocial emotions as an invitation or a doorway to maturing, to growing, to learning, to deal with things in a more mature and healthy way, okay? So that's when I, do you see how this is kind of step-by-step step moving us along? Through understanding, through exposure, through discussion, through application, now we're beginning to get it. Now we're connecting it to our lives and saying, hey, I can do something differently, you know? Basically, you are, uh, we're saying here, you are now internally and creatively breaking the ice of an external demand, okay? That those two boundaries are being breached and we're doing it, we're helping each other doing that. You're developing your own sovereignty and choices without being forced into it. We talked recently about self-determination theory and this is where the group is helping each person to be more autonomous, more effective, and more better in relationships. So again, and then finally, conclusion. Develop strategies to share with the rest of the class to move emotions in your area of concern from antisocial negative to pro-social and positive, okay? Describe possible, possible effects this might have on motivation, self-esteem, stress level, health, personal fulfillment, and relationships. This should be pretty self-explanatory. Develop possible strategies and discuss effects in these areas. You don't have to be experts or research this. Share your own wisdom and reasoning, and that will be adequate. I'm not asking you at this time to bring in more more peer-reviewed research. This is you. You have to take leadership. You're going to be in a counseling situation. You're actually going to be offering advice to someone. This would be you as a professional offering that advice. Given your background, the fact that you've worked on it, you've engaged it, you've come up with ways to move things from negative to positive, and this is the conclusion. Now you're saying, here's some strategies, 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 some takeaways that you know that you can put up in your little brain or keep in your little heart to pull out to help deal with this, okay? I've laid out the steps so you don't have to worry at all about the format. You can spend your time just engaging. This format is five sections here, okay? Now just engage these, and I'm gonna have you engaging them over the next few weeks, so you don't have to worry about that even, okay? But please do go to those discussion groups, share your initial contact information, some of your initial ideas, okay? Something about yourself, so you'll be up and going, okay? So I hope that is, helpful for you. And I really look forward to this being a positive and constructive and professionally meaningful group project for you all. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.